diffraction grating equation. So let's recall this figure we have talked about in the last video. Okay, we'll focus on the position of the grating to the point that we consider the bright fringe that we consider. So in this back figure, it is talking about the grating. So the light is directed to a particular point. And we can define the path difference between two lights through the two slits. Okay, so you if you it is too fast for you, you can pause here to understand the path difference first. Okay, so with this figure, we can define the path difference as d sine theta. Actually, we have done it when we talk about the uh, double slit. Okay, so you can refer to that part if you can't get it at this moment. But the most important is you should remember the path difference is equal to d sine theta. Okay, if we consider the bright fringe, the d sine theta is equal to n lambda. The n is the order number. Once again, the d is the grating spacing. So this is the equation that we will use here for the grating. Actually, this equation can also be used in double slit. Even the double slit have the double slit equation. But this is the only equation for the grating. Okay, so double slit, we have two equations to use, but for the grating, we just have this equation to use. Okay, so in the first figure is show you more about okay what is the theta theta for the first order we call theta one and the theta for the second order the theta two. Okay, so let's take a look at an example, an example one here. When the blue light is passed through the grating, and then in which of the following? situation we can increase the separation angle between the first the two first or the maxima okay so you can we have marked the angle at the top so actually this is the double of theta one that's two times the theta one okay this is the separation angle between the two first or the maxima so if we use the red light instead of blue light that means we increase the lambda so the sine theta will increase, and so when the theta increases, so the sine theta also increases. Okay, so that means the theta can be increased here. And if we increase the grating spacing, that means we increase the d. So we know that the sine theta will be decreased. So when the sine theta decreases, the theta will also decrease together. And if we increase the number of grating lines per millimeter, means we decrease the grating spacing. Okay, so with the same idea, we can get the same result. And the width of each slit doesn't relate it because it just means we change the D. We keep the D as the same. So the width of each slit increase doesn't increase the angle. 